again guys, Adam aka Watchtower for Dashing Between, Matt aka I Robert Ducky, wait wait. We've come in today just to have a quick little video for you guys, we got it uh, from Scotty Purple and Gold, that's his YouTube site, we'll have a link in the description, his game to tag on Xbox Live is TG Aussie Scotty, and he goes through the class selection of the beta, so... Have a look, we'll have a look ourselves as well, and we'll have a little bit of a description about how we go. So, Matt. Yes. What do you think about the beta that you've seen? So far what I've seen looks really, really, really good. All the models seem to be really crisp and they actually seem to run like they're real people. Not like in um, a couple of other games where they, when you see a character run, they don't look like they're actually running, they look like they're hovering. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. The, the character model on this is just out, out, of this world. out of this world. It reminds me a lot like Battlefield. But in yeah. saying that, EA, Danger Close, Battlefield, they're all in the same type of they know what they're area. Doing. Yeah. Exactly. So as you can see, Scotty's going through the nations that you can select at the start, it looks like. Maybe you get a free unlock. Um, he takes a lot of time, you can actually see the uh, weapon selections and their attachments on the right. So, there, yeah, there you go. Anything you need to say, Matt? Oh, you pretty much just covered it, dude. All the weapon selections and they... So you get one free unlock, is it? Or is that just maybe for the beta? It could be for the beta, but it looks like, like he just logged in then. And he's got this automatically came up when he was playing multiplayer. Oh, nice. So you might get one free unlock for the assaulter. Oh, probably it might be. Yeah, it might be for the assaulter. Or it might be for a class of your choice too. It could be, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Get into uh, the beta, so who knows? <laughs> Takes a lot of time. I have to, uh, another shout out to Scotty. Thank you for letting us use your video. Yep, cheers, Scotty. Takes a, it takes a, enough time for you guys to read it as well without us talking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good with a lot of videos that don't really take their time. They just go, oh, this is what you got, bang, and then they get into the game. Yeah, rush, rush. I like it. Yeah, he's done a good job. Every single nation as well. Yep. And automatically go to the SAS, even though he's probably going to unlock the SASR straight away. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing I wish with the pre orders in Australia if we got an unlock for the SASR. Instead of the seals. And Instead of the seals, just for the nation, like just for like you're in Australia, so you get that. If you're in America, you get whatever seals or whatever they want, they want the select you that you have. Yeah. I'm lucky for New Zealand because they're not to be Australian, so... Yeah. It's close to home for them, so... Yeah, exactly. Ian's accents as whatnot, so... Yeah. Another cool thing that uh, Scotty shows is the menus a bit. Yeah. Uh, also, the fact that they've got server browsers. Thank God. Thumbs up. Yep, thumbs up, EA. Well done. Good choice. Like, I don't know, all the PC gamers are like, oh, well, you know, you should play on the PC, that's why we have servers like that. But the consoles have seriously been lacking that. Yeah, they have been. Now Battlefield has them. I think a lot of other games will have them as well. A lot of people that have disconnection issues now because they can actually find a server that they can go on to. That's right, you can play on home. Home name. Yeah. And there's Scotty, he's looking through the classes for you, so you've got the Sniper, the Assault, the Demolitions, the Heavy Gunner, the Point Man, and then the Special Ops. Ops. Oh. 
just let you sink into the into the <laughs> bit, boys. Oh, this this is what uh, Matt has been looking forward to is the uh, the gun support. Mm-hmm. So he's going through all the attachments, and Matt's a person who loves the attachments. I do. Like, as you see, he's got a few unlocked for him to use. Which were the ones that he unlocked through the nation? Yep. So, take your choice. So I'm guessing every nation has their different attachments? Yeah, straight off the bat, it seems like. And then you can unlock him via playing the class or using the gun. Yep. Suppressor, or flash suppressor. I just love the fact uh, how it's all like you can change every part, like stop yeah. the, the the clip size, the barrel, the the optical uh, sight. It's so pretty much you can yeah. customize it how you really want it too. So yeah. Now he's just going through the paint. Yep. Um, so how the paints are designed is that you got a sand base, you got a forest base. You've got an earth base, a uh, winter base, and an urban base, and then the sixth one is a special base. So they sound like some type of achievement or using a gun so much, and they're the out there kind of colour Call of Duty style, um, like you know, gold guns and stuff like that. <laughs> I think I'll probably stick with the urban. Scotty just hits up the purple straight off the bat. <laughs> But then when you think about it, it's not really a super bad purple, like really, really bright. Yeah, it's only it's only a lightish purple, so. Mm. So you still blend in. Scotty's just going through the settings for you guys, so you can have a look at the controller settings. Just gonna adjust the sensitivity, obviously. Um, different for any type of the other consoles or the uh, PC. And uh, Scotty will actually jump into a match, show you what the uh, feel of the game looks like as well. And this is this is where Matt was talking about the uh, the way that the soldiers move is very fluent and precise. Yeah, they move like they're real people. Yeah, fluent and precise. Not like the old Medal of Honor, which the, the character model is kind of like a little bit floaty. <laughs> but that's all right. Love the game. So. A lot of people are still playing it, so... Exactly. Until this one comes out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, but then even so, you might have people that might love the original one and hate the new one. This definitely has more uh, Call of Duty type of feel to it. Yeah. It's still Medal of Honor, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Well, like you said earlier in the other vlogcast that we did, that it could be the Call of Duty killer. Yeah, that's right. Alright guys, well, we'll end our voices here so you can watch the rest of the video. It's not very long, this one, um, and he actually quits the match as well. So, from all of us here at Operation Slipper, I have been Adam, aka Watchtower for Dash in Between. I'm Matt, aka Rubber Ducky. And just have a great day, guys. Subscribe, email us. Have a good day. There you go. Lucky.